like to. So, so we're just talking about, what are we talking about, Jay? So this is my friend Jay. He's like, at Let's Get Jobless, right? Yeah, that's me. Let's Get Jobless.com. It's the sickest blog. Yeah, it's the sickest blog. So he basically talks about, so he basically talks about how to, I'm just going to cut it out. So let's. <laughs> You, you yeah, so you, you, you want to know what the blog's about? So yeah, I want to I wanna know. I want to know what you do, basically. So here's the thing. So like, when you travel and when you see loads of people, the biggest thing that you find is that there's so many people who want to learn about how to make money online because they're like, "Fuck, I love traveling. I want to yeah. be able to do this full time." And then you bump into people who are doing it, right? They're yeah. living a the dream. So I speak to those kind of people. I'm like, "Fuck, what are you doing to make money?" And they're like, "Oh, I'm doing this, this, and this." And after a while, you start to realize that there's actually tons of different ways that you're able to make money online. Yeah. So, you know, what my blog was all about is when I first started it 18 months ago, I was in this job, which was a good job, you know, it paid me well, but, you know, I was going out every weekend, I was getting shit-faced, I was, like, destroying my life with alcohol and other substances, and really I wasn't that happy. You yeah. know, I was earning loads of money, but I was blowing it all up against the wall. It was shit, so I decided to make this blog because I'd just been away traveling on a single trip. Yeah. And I decided, I was like, okay, I really like this solo travel stuff. I want to try and do this full time. So I literally came home and I Googled how to work and travel. Yeah. And I found this guy's blog, a guy called Sean Ogle. He's got this incredible site called Location Rebel. And I literally read an article which was like, how you make money online. And, yeah. and after a while, I was like, that sounds really cool. He tells people to like start a blog. It's like Inspiring. a training ground. Yeah, dude, it like gripped me. So I decided, so about a month later, I, just, I made my blog and I literally just had my blog about how I was going to leave my job and go and leave and travel. Yeah. And that actually happened in September. I quit my job, I left everything behind, I sold everything I owned, and I'm now traveling, and, and that's what I'm doing. And right then, I was like, at a crossroads, I was like, fuck, like, what do I do with my blog now? I've yeah. left my job. I was like, what, now what? Like, well, what? how are we gonna make money, huh? So I was like, oh, what the fuck, I don't know what to do. So, yeah. um, so then, I, I had a little bit of an intermittent period where I was like, trying to make money from the blog, but the blog wasn't really ready for that, and yeah. I had a bit of a crisis moment. And then, uh, about November in this year, I was like, right, okay, I'm gonna knuckle down now, I'm going to start being a freelance writer because I've been writing for about a year. Yeah. I knew how to do it. I was like, time to get And it's also paid. an option to make money while traveling. Yeah, freelance really writing one. is one of the best ways to get started because most people have the skills already to yeah. do that. They, uh, they already, uh, you know, can write. They, you know, they know English from school. Yeah. They can kind of get that And if you down. don't, it's like not that hard to learn. It's just practice, you know. Yeah. And if you know somebody who is good at grammar, you can always send them your article. They yeah. can give you back feedback. There's loads of great apps online to help you, like Grammarly. But yeah, uh, anyway, so, um, yeah, so I did freelance writing. So I started, I was in New York at the time visiting some friends. And I was like, okay, I'm going to do freelance writing. And literally that day, I went on a pro blogger job board. I applied for some jobs. And within two or three days, I had two freelance writing. Yeah. jobs and the funny thing is you know I, I listen to Gary Vaynerchuk a lot and he talks about taking action and the yeah, that's first what I wanted time, to say yeah dude I mean uh, like, just, you have to you have to you have to even if you suck at them even if you think you suck at the moment you have to go out and apply yeah. even if you know 100% you're gonna get rejected for whatever reason you have to go out and you have to apply it makes sense because if you take action like even if you fail you'll learn yeah. something from it yeah and that's huge so literally the first time I ever decided to apply for a job I got both jobs and those are to the two clients that I still write for today. You know, and they give me enough work to, you know, to live in Thailand. I, I wrote an income report uh, yeah. about a couple of months ago, about December. Yeah, that's on ledgedjobless.com. Yeah, and I broke down exactly like how much money I made, how I did it, and the, and the companies I did it for, just to give people like a bit of insight. So it's totally doable. You just have to take action and go do it. So exactly. once once that happened in November, once I was getting paid and I was earning enough money, I was like, okay, I don't have to make money on my blog anymore. Now I can focus on giving back. I can give real value. And since that kind of trigger moment in my head, which was in December, I focused really on the blog on giving you know great value, giving people information that they can practically use. And the blog now is all about helping other people do what yeah. I do, you yeah. know, travel and earn money online. And like my passion is all about trying to help other people realize you don't have to work these fucking mundane jobs. You don't Sick. have to work 40 hours a week. Like if any of you know Tim Ferriss, he wrote yeah. an incredible book, The 4-Hour Work Week, and he talks about this, you know. There's, the, there's something called the Pareto Principle, which is the 80-20 rule, where it says that 80% of your time, you're spending to get 20% of the results. Yeah, exactly. 20% of the time, you're getting 80% of the results. Firstly, like, it doesn't make sense at the beginning, but when you, like, when you, like, really think about it, it does. 
So in like it a does. normal work day, if you think about this, you get to work, you have a coffee, you fuck about talking to your friends, half ten hits, you've probably not done any work. Yeah. You have about an hour's worth of work, and then you're like, oh, lunchtime's in yeah. half an hour, so you fucking jack off again, and then you come back. You come back, you're like, you I'm full, much. I'm not yeah. going to do any work. If you, you work know, out like just... how much work you actually do in the yeah, day, you're probably there for ten hours, but you do maybe an hour and a half to two hours exactly. work. If someone had a gun to your head, you could have done that work in yeah. an hour to two hours. So yeah. the whole idea between you know what I do and what I try and help other people do is to grow a lifestyle business. So that's a business where you know you can work around the things that you want to do. So you know I'm traveling right now. I'm earning enough, not a lot of money. I think last month I earned like fourteen hundred dollars or something like that. But it's still enough for traveling. Yeah. So for Thailand, that's yeah. paid for Thailand and a little bit on top just in case something goes wrong. So I'm basically yeah. traveling for free. But the amount of time that I actually spent writing was only six and a half hours a week. Yeah. So instead of having to go and do a job to live, it's a lot better. And the great thing about that kind of business when you're in somewhere like Thailand or if you're going around Europe, you go to places like Lisbon or Croatia, you know, Hungary, you know, these places are really, really cheap to yeah. live. So if you stayed at home and decided to start a business, you'd have to earn, say, $2,000, $3,000 a month. Yeah, because to get just started. living expenses are like right? way higher. But instead, what you do is you work less hours, you travel amazing countries, and you're still actually making the same amount as if you're working a job yeah. at home. You know, it gives you this whole new way to experience life. And you know, in maybe a year's time or two years' time, once I'm at that level where I'm making enough money to be comfortable, then I might decide, okay, I want to go and live here or I want to yeah. move home or do something like that. But you, really, still, you still could do that. Yeah, for sure. Just, it just has to be like a cheaper country. Yeah, I mean, and don't get me wrong, like, if I wanted to go back to the UK tomorrow, oh, yeah. I could do it, but I'd just have to work 20 hours a week yeah. instead of, exactly. but instead, you know, I'd rather be here in this beautiful place, meeting great people like you, dude. Fun, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, just to just to do that instead and enjoy life. You know, that's, exactly. that's the big thing. So exactly. that's really what my blog's all about. You know, helping people, trying to give back and teach people because there's so many people out there. Like we yeah. met these two girls today, and they're literally like, like oh, these two. I really, yeah. They're like, <laughs> how do you do that? And I'm like, we start to talk about it, and you see like a light bulb yeah. go off in their head, and they're like. I can do that because because they, they like in the beginning when, like when you when you hear about it like in the news or something or like read an article you don't think that's really possible you see like it's just media you know Sorry. it's just media yeah right but when you actually see somebody doing it then you realize fuck like I like he's no different than me I could I sure. could be doing that <laughs> yeah if, maybe a little if, prettier but if like. <laughs> maybe a little prettier but <laughs> debatable you know it depends on the haircut. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I haven't cut my hair in a long time. So I could be doing that if I put enough work. That's that's like a huge criteria. Sure. You have to put in the work. And this most people thing. like, yeah, people hear about like making money online, and they yeah. and they immediately think, oh, get rich quick. Yeah. Right? And like that's anybody, not. if you speak to anybody that makes money online successfully, whether they're a blogger, they have a website, they have a shop, you, you, the big thing they'll tell you is it takes a lot of work. You know, it's it really really hard to build up. And there's a lot of types of businesses out there that sound very sexy. So blogging and vlogging and YouTube yeah. videos, it's, it all sounds fucking sexy. And everybody wants to be the next fucking Justin Bieber or like whatever the fuck it is on Instagram. Like they're like, they want to be ultra famous. They want to do like vlogging and shit. And like, and it sounds like it's really easy and you do it because it sounds exciting, but then you don't see results. Yeah. The trick is you've got to find something that's maybe not going to be that fun to start off with, but that's going to earn you your first couple of hundred dollars online. And when you realize that there's money going into your bank account yeah. and you're making money from it, that makes it real. And yeah. once it's real and once you've got an income coming in and you're learning the skills, then that's when you can then apply it to something different. Yeah. It's cool, right? It was a nice interview, dude. Thanks, man. Thank you. It's completely on the fly. Thank you. It was you completely any, on the fly. Any preparation? I was, I was just having I was, a conversation. I was just and checking the camera. I was just checking the LED in the camera. Like, please, please, let me. Like, <laughs> please tell me. I, I clicked the button. Yeah, man. <laughs> did. That was cool. Yeah. So yeah, completely off the fly. Yeah. I, I always talk better when I'm just in the fly. Of it anyway, no, it's so. cool. Like, yeah, those are the best kind of interviews. I appreciate you doing that. Kind of it's fun. We're D Rock and Gary. <laughs> Okay. Fuck you, D-Rock, you shit. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. It, Let's get jobless.com. Uh, yeah. Just check his website. Out. It's pretty cool. Hey, like, oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, know. We completely fucked it up. Whatever. I was going to say, if anybody wants any advice or help or an opinion, just reach out. Like, yeah, you just find reach me on out on. You can find me on Instagram as well. It's the his, same. Let's his get Instagram jobless. is Let's, just, Let's Get Jobless. I'm, uh, I'm Chris Does Travel and also admin underscore co so chris k-r-i-s dot travel chris no like the normal chris like the english chris like c-h-r-i-s oh cool like chris does travel i'm glad you said yeah that. i did I, I, I did change it i did That's change cool. it Sweet. it was i was surprised that it was available like sweet <laughs> <laughs>